Afternoon, Die Hards. Matty G checking in with you. Uh, I was sick this weekend, so I decided to pass over on doing the videos and I uh, want to congratulate one of um, the guys I work with on this on the page, Brian Moir, did a good job covering the Red Sox this weekend. Good job, kid, kiddo. Um, but the Sox take two out of three from the Tigers. Chris Sale, remarkable. He's 5-0 in his last um, six starts with an ERA under one. Um, six scoreless innings to 101 pitches, and the Red Sox won the game 9-1. to Jackie Bradley Jr. and Andrew Benintendi hit it with the bats. Um, Friday night, David Price, 6 and a third scoreless baseball. The Red Sox win 1-0. They lose the middle game 5-zip as they're unable to hit, but yesterday they pounded out nine runs, so that was a good sign that the hitting's come back a little bit. They also pick up a half a game on the Yankees throughout the course of the series because the Yankees were rained out last night. Which stinks because DeGrom was going against them, so might, might have been able to pick up a full game there. But as we sit right now currently, Sox are the only team with 70 wins in um, baseball. They're 70 and 31, which is 101 games played. The Yankees are 63 and 34, so it's only three in the loss column, but it's seven in the win column, and that comes out to a five-game lead. Um, so the Red Sox basically have, let's see, 61 games left. Is that right? Yes. 61 games left. And the Yankees have 60, must have 65. Yep, because that comes up to 97. So they have 65 games left. And obviously, you know, they're going to have to play good baseball to, to, catch, to catch us. And it's going to be a cat-dog fight. But I saw something on SportsCenter the other, the other morning. The Yankees haven't picked up a game on us. The other day, they, on Saturday, they picked up a full game because they won and we lost. But... They hadn't gained any ground since July 1st, which is amazing. That was the last time the Yankees gained any ground on us. That was when we were tied for first place. So the Red Sox obviously took them out of July and have done a remarkable job, even with the trade deadline looming and everybody wondering where's, who's going where and can we get anybody. Right now, I think, like I, I mentioned it over the course of the All-Star break, I, I don't think the Red Sox need to do a thing. They can go with what they have. They got Brandon Workman, they got uh, the kid um, Brazier, who I would love to see get some high leverage situations before they even think about making any type of trade for anybody. Divas is off the DL. Bradley Jr. hit a home run yesterday. Ben Tendy's had a quiet and unbelievable season. He's second on the team in RBIs, which nobody would think of because of Mookie and the way Mookie and JD have played all year. But, guys, this is a big, crucial time for the Red Sox. They got three against Baltimore starting tonight. Rick Porcello against Kevin Gosman. Kevin Gosman's got a decent arm, but the Red Sox should be able to hit him. And we'll see where they go. If they can take, you know, two out of three from Baltimore, that's a perfect six-game road trip. Um, like we talked about the other night on the, on the live video, um, me and Brian, the Sox play New York, Philadelphia, and the Twins coming up. So it would be nice to take two out of, at least two out of three from Baltimore, especially now that Machado's gone. But I'll check back in with you after the game. Porcello versus Gosman. The Red Sox try to be, continue to add to their rem remarkable season as they look for their 71st win of the year. Only team with 70 wins in, in Major League Baseball. Have a good afternoon, guys. Check in with you after the game.